we invited eight of the top quarterbacks in the Metroplex to compete in an accuracy competition this past summer. Each quarterback had four targets to throw at. A 10-yard target worth one point, a 25-yard target worth four points, the 30-yard target worth six points, and a 35-yard target worth nine points. Each target had a bullseye in the middle, which was worth double the points. We kick off the semifinals with a great matchup between Highland Park's Braden Shager and Cedar Hill's Caden Salter. Braden Shager, I'm a quarterback at Highland Park High School, committed to Hawaii. I put up the most points in the first round. I'm ready to do that again. Shager is a Hawaii commit who's guided the Scots to an undefeated regular season. Season. He owns the high point total so far in this competition, and he may need to top that number to beat Salter in this round. Let's see if he can do it. Shager off to a good start. His first bullseye brings his total to four. He was perfect at the check down target and moves to the 25 yard target. There's his first miss after four completions. Shager completes one more pass to the 25-yard target and will now try the 30-yard target. His first attempts are off, but he makes an adjustment and completes a pass to bring his total to 18 points. Now Shager wants to dial up the long ball. There's another completion to give Shager 36 points. He could use a few more completions at this target, he needs to make another adjustment as his passes are just missing the target right now. There's a bullseye. That pass makes it 54 points for Shager. The Scots missed out on four state titles in a row last year, but Shager has captained Highland Park through another perfect regular season as they look to get back to the finals. Looking for a strong finish in this competition, but Shager can't top his point total from round one. He finishes with a strong 54 points, though. Will it be enough to hold off Cedar Hill's signal caller? Caden Salter, Cedar Hill High School, committed to the University of Tennessee, seen what I did round one, then turned up a notch round two. Caden Salter has quarterbacked Cedar Hill to a seven Seven and one regular season record. The Tennessee commit is gearing up for another playoff run with Cedar Hill, but he wasn't thinking about that this summer. He was concentrating on beating Shager's 54 points and advancing to the finals. Shager starts off with a bullseye. Give him another bullseye at the check down target for two more points. Salter makes it three bullseyes at the check down. Salter is surgical right now. Make it four bullseyes in four attempts. He shows he is human by finally missing, but completes his last attempt to the 25-yard target. Give him another bullseye. That brings his total to 30 points as we approach a minute remaining. There's another completion. He gives Salter 36 points as he dials up the deep ball. 19 points at this target would be enough for Salter to advance, and there's a bullseye. Salter has now tied Shager's total. He needs just one completion at any target, and there it is. That's enough for Salter to advance to the next round. Let's see if he can add more points to his total, though. Salter's one of the area's most accurate QBs, and he really is flexing his muscles right here. That completion brings his total to 81 points. That's Salter's final total, and it's more than enough to advance to the finals. Caden will either face Jalen Kitna or Eli Stowers in the championship round. 